Good morning, students. Today we will discuss about sexually transmitted diseases. Sexually transmitted diseases, also known as STDs, are those diseases which spread through sexual intercourse. They spread through sexual intercourse. They are also known as reproductive tract infections. Now we will discuss one STD which is caused by bacteria and one STD which is caused by virus. Now let us discuss first STD which is caused by bacteria Treponema palladium. This is the bacteria which cause STD which is known as syphilis. So, syphilis is the first sexually transmitted diseases which is caused by bacteria Treponema pallidum. Now, let us look at its symptom. The first symptom is burning sensation during urination. The next symptom is sore in the genital area. And the third symptom is urethral discharge containing pus. So inside the urethral discharge, that means along with urine, pus would be generated. So this is about the first sexually transmitted disease syphilis which is caused by bacteria Treponema palladium. Now let us talk about the STD which is caused by virus that is HIV virus also called human immunodeficiency virus. HIV virus or human immunodeficiency virus cause a STD which is known as AIDS which is called acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. So AIDS is the STD which is caused by virus which is HIV virus. Now let us look at the cause of AIDS. As we know AIDS is caused by HIV virus and the first symptom includes weakening of the immune system. So this disease cause weakening of the immune system. So immune system of the body becomes very weak. As a result, patient suffers from minor infections which the immune system could overcome easily. Now, why does the immune system of the body become weak? The immune system becomes weak because there is decrease in 
number of T lymphocytes in the body. So this disease cause decrease in the number of T lymphocytes in the body. As a result, T lymphocyte because T lymphocyte produce antibody or helps the B lymphocyte to produce antibody. So there is reduction in immunity of the body and immune system becomes weak. Now let us look how the HIV virus is transmitted. So HIV virus which cause AIDS can be transmitted by sexual intercourse by sharing contaminated needles or from HIV positive mother to the fetus. Now let us talk about contraception. Contraception means methods to avoid pregnancy. There are many contraceptive devices by which pregnancy can be avoided. There are many contraceptive devices by which pregnancy can be avoided. Some of the contraceptive methods are as follows. The first contraceptive method is chemical method. In chemical method includes use of pills. Pills are progesterone and estrogen preparation. These pills avoid pregnancy by inhibiting ovulation. If egg would not be produced by the ovary, then there is no chance of pregnancy. So they avoid pregnancy by inhibiting ovulation. Second method is barrier method. Barrier method includes condom in males and diaphragm in females. These prevent in males, barrier method prevents semen from entering the reproductive tract of female. So first method was chemical method which include pills which are progesterone estrogen preparation which inhibit ovulation and hence pregnancy is avoided. Second method is barrier method which includes condom in males, diaphragm in females and condom in males prevent <laughs> semen from entering the reproductive tract of female. The third contraceptive method is IUDs which are intrauterine devices. These intrauterine devices are put by expert nurses into the uterus of female and they avoid pregnancy by preventing fertilization. 
some of the example of iud are copper t copper t when put inside the uterus releases copper ions which kill the sperm the fourth contraceptive method is surgical method it includes cutting off sperm duct or vasa deferens in males and cutting off fallopian tubes in female cutting of sperm duct in male is known as vasectomy and cutting of fallopian tube in female is known as tubectomy these are some of the contraceptive methods which help to prevent pregnancy